Reynolds, the Oz Gunners Collective. Back at it, you already know, like a motherfucking smack addict, right? And as you can tell by today's thumbnail, yes, indeed, let's get straight into it. Tinta, Prison Inc., this shit right here, all this shit, baby oil, chess pieces, checker pieces, all that shit, right? And in this fashion, man, a direct style, manula fashion, I'm going to talk about Prison Inc., why people get it, because they're bored, right? Why people get it how they get it, what goes into getting it, and the different symbolizations of things you can get and some motherfucking things you shouldn't get, right? I'm not going to say you can't get because you can get whatever you want. You're a grown man at the end of the day. So I was scared. Handle your business. But if business gets handled on you, that'll be your bad. And in that fashion. So trip out. Um, Prison Inc. There's a lot of people that get it, you know? I think the number one cause for getting ink is boredom. You know, you're bored in there. Someone puts together a little tattoo gun. They break a Walkman apart. So I'm scared they get that motherfucking motor. Or nowadays, you know, it's out of a CD player. Whatever the case may be, there's a lot of different instruments you can use to utilize, to get a motor. You utilize it. You get, make a fucking needle, little pin. So I'm scared, chop it down. I ain't going to tell you the recipe. I'm sure you know it. And boom, bada, boop, 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 boop. There you go. Follow the yellow brick road. You got a tattoo gun. Okay, um... Now, quietly as it's kept, a lot of people are bored. They have a lot of time on their hands. You get a celly that's halfway decent with the tattoo gun, and you start getting that tinta, okay? Now, being in Norteño at that time, you know, locked up, incarcerated, there was things we could and we could not get. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, you couldn't get a Huelga bird because you hadn't earned it or it meant a certain thing and you needed to ask somebody. Um, basically, there were things that you didn't want to get on your body to validate you. Okay, and that was the most that was the most of it. It wasn't because the gang was saying you couldn't get this because you needed to earn something or nah child homes. You know what I mean? I never seen that situation arise. I never seen Valtos get plaqueated. I never seen Valtos get beat up because they had something on them that they that was felt that they didn't earn. That never happened on the yards I was at. But a lot of people came in, you know, Valtos that ain't never been incarcerated, ain't never been nowhere with Welega birds over their eyes. Big O X I Vs, 14s, the symbolization of the Norte, right? And of course, maybe if they hit a yard man with some high power Vatos that's not really feeling that, he could say, Subscribe, hey, no, mm -mm. Charlie Holmes, Chad don't count. You need to go somewhere to earn something, a little bit of this, a little bit of that needs to get put in, and then you can handle your business, and then Saluske, you earned it, right? But for the most part, I never seen that. Now, I did see guys come in right off the Yardas, right, or right off the uh, streets, right onto the Yardas with all this work on them. You know, and they were down. For the most part, they were down. They were about their business. They were righteous homeboys. The embracement was real. It was all good. Um, but what happened at, in that certain points, man, Valtos felt some type of way. And instead of approaching them and telling them, hey, you got to remove this tattoo or you can't have this or you can't have that, they just kind of got put on frontline status. Valtos just wanted to see where their head's at. Meaning, if you have these tattoos, you're so flamboyant with it. You're so much about it. Was, Motherfuckers won't see where your head's at. You know what I mean? So let's get here. Here's a pedazo. Handle it. You know what I mean? One stabbing for every piece of that well got burned, and you'll be good. Um, but like I said, for the most part, at the end of the day, Vatos weren't pushing up on people. Now, I can't speak for the other side because I have heard some stories, you know, about the Vatos from the South. There's different things they can and cannot get, and I'm not going to go into the intricacies and the detail of that because, like I said, once again, I have no bearings. I have no knowledge of what really uh, detail was going on over there. I just know that there was a lot of things that the Vatos had to earn, a lot of tattoos they couldn't get, a lot of tattoos that they could get different symbolizations for different uh group factions and it's all good in the hood um but but prison ink as a whole you know because every group faction gets it every person gets it you know and it seems like people think oh, all the more think that you get that's like that shows the more time you've done you know i've met bottles that have been down 40 50 years without a fucking dot on them you know tattoos doesn't make the man the man makes the tattoos do you understand where i'm coming from um it's anybody could get them you know, if fucking Sasuke, hey, if a fucking Bawoso can get him, that doesn't mean he's down, right? That just means a Bawoso can get him. Um, some people like artwork. They like tattoos. I myself liked the look of art. You know, ever since I was a youngster, my Theo Joe, Teardrop Joe from uh, uh, Turlock, you know, he always, he was all tatted down and he used to always get out of prison. I used to be, damn, man, that's, that's tight, Theo, man, shit. What, what's that right there? Well, I got bird. How do you, how do you spell that, right? I was all fascinated with the tattoos that he was getting every time he did a violation every time he went to prison he came out with some new tinta and i didn't look at it as tattoos oh i want to be like him i want to be look tough i looked at it as man i like the artwork 
I like the symbolization. I like uh, the cultura work. I like the Aztec work, the ink and the Mayan work. Whatever the case may be, whatever he had on him, I was like, man, I'm trying to get something like that. Not, not exactly that. Because that's, I don't know about that jaguar, the half panther, half jaguar. I, that's not for me. I just said, that looked like a fucking battle cap from He-Man. I'm not into that. But at the same time, um, I do like the way the artwork flows together. So, of course, getting incarcerated, um, business first before pleasure, right? It wasn't about going in there and getting all the ink you can get and just get looking the, looking the part like an ex-convict or a convict. Nah, that wasn't what it was all about. It was about going in there, handling your business, uh, planting your flag, the embracement with the homeboys, doing what you had to do to establish. And then if you happen to find yourself in a cell or find yourself on a yacht with someone who's getting down, maybe you can get some tattoo work, Okay. So a lot of the work that I got done was done by a lot of real righteous homeboys. Okay, but quietly as it's kept, I'm going to keep it real with you, man. I've had a lot of sureños work on my body as well. Tattooing, getting down, you know what I mean? The think that was real. Um, I always wanted to go to the same tattoo artist, but I knew at the end of the day that probably wasn't going to happen. You know, because when you get moved from prison to prison or you find yourself on different various violations or whatever the case may be, you're not going to run into the same vato that was over there slaying the tinta. So you have to make do with what you have to make do. That's why some of it's dark, some of it's lighter. Everyone has different penmanship. Everyone has different skill sets. Everybody's different. You know, I kind of wanted to get that chest plate, them sleeves, kind of bring my stuff together. This is what I wanted personally. Okay, I don't got a lot of gang-related things on me. I do got some symbols of the North, you know, that are still on my body. But for the most part, a lot of it, mine is just artwork that's all blended and flowing together. Shows a lot of Chicano cultura, a lot of history, a lot of the Aztec pride and power that we possess about the back in the day because I don't care we were doing our thing, you know what I mean? Soldados in a real way, warriors and in that fashion, menudo. Um, this is what I wanted. But a lot of different group factions get a lot of different symbolizations, man. I've seen the Africanos, you know, Kumis, they get that 415, that Kumi, Bay Bridges, the Bay Area. They want motherfuckers to know they're fresh up out that bay, man, ready to make it happen. You know what I mean? They'll come out the bay and go to the bay. They ain't playing. Real shit. And then you see Kripas, of course, they get a lot of blue panos, a lot of representation of their hoods, their blocks, their cities. They like to whack out certain letters and numbers and things of that nature. That's their stilo. It's always been like that's going to continue such. And then, you, of course, the sangres are the other side of that same coin. And likewise, they get their hoods, red paños, things of that fashion. And that's their thing, okay? Now, you have the white boys, the woods, the skinheads, the whatever you want to call them. At the end of the day, they're over there on that other side of the yard. And these vultures, you can see their tacas from a mile away. They got swastikas, lightning bolts, um, 23s, all kinds of 1488s. And you'll see a lot of different... Um, white power or white pride symbolization on their body and this is because they're proud of their heritage they want they display it in ink they want people to see when they took it off they want people to see what they're about i remember i once met a vato he was a white boy from vacaville he had bay arian real big on his stomach so let's get about that gold teeth big old white boy bay arian on his stomach i said all right. You know what I mean? I guess you could tell where it said Bay Area and they changed it to Area. And I was like, okay, well, I could see where that was coming from. They want to went to bump from Bumpy Mac Dre to Willie Nelson. But at the same time, man, he's on the road again. It's all good. Let him do his thing. Like I said before in my spills about the woods, man, Vatos aren't really racist on the guys. They're not really with that program, but they go into prison. They have to conform to what's the rules and regulations of what's going on with their group. So they get a lot of these tattoos, this prison ink work to display that, the symbolization. I seen Vatos were here at the door. I I seen I see some crazy tattoos in my time, you know. But at the end of the day, whatever rocks your boat or floats your boat or sinks your boat or whatever is it's your boat, you know what I mean. Do your thing, you know. I will do mine. Um, but prison ink has been around for a long time, way before Vatos just started getting it. Sasuke, hey, look, I got that in two thousand. What that one's in ninety nine. This one's in ninety three. Nah, it's not like that. The tattoo work goes way back, you know, to the beginning of time where prisoners were, it was out of boredom. They got certain symbols to justify and to show where they were from. There was a lot of code work that went on. Vatos would get work that if you seen them with this certain tattoo, you knew they were, they were from that uh, certain organization or they were affiliated. Um, but slowly but surely over the years, tattoos changed to more artistic artwork symbolizations i remember back in the days man my theo always had a big old peacock right here and a rose right here i said damn i see all the veteranos with that what's that for he said that's to cover up the tracks when i shoot up i said oh shit straight up he didn't even fucking bullshit me or hesitate um 
there was a lot of different reasoning behind tattoos. You know, I remember going through the 90s, a lot of authors had their last name on their back tattooed. A lot of authors had their city in Old English or their wario on their stomach. These were commonplace. These were tattoos you were seeing even as a youngster in CYA. Vatos already, I remember the Vato had Loma for Loma Bakers on his stomach. The L was like the big Loma. You know what I'm saying? So you can see him all the way on the other side of the institution. Hey, watch out. That's Bugsy from Loma Bakers. Guarantee it. Right? Right off the top. For sure. This Vato had the biggest tattoo I've ever seen in my life. And it seemed like the bigger, the better. Vato started busting eyes like getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And of course, in prison, you're going to have the Vatos with the tattoos on their face. I think it's more prevalent here now on the calles where you're seeing Vatos with tattoos all over the face. Every once in a while, you see a Vato with a couple of tacas. If a Vato's doing all day, man, he don't give a shit. He gets tattoos all over his face. Um, but for the most part, it's now it's all this younger generation getting all the fucking che bags of Cheetos and Takis and all that weird shit tattooed on their face. You know what I mean? Roblox and shit. Anyways, we ain't doing it like that. Um, but tattoos have been around. You know, they're not something that just started. It's not something that's going to end. Like I said, boredom, uh, complacency, a lot of time, and a lot of being prideful in where you're from or which, where you're at. Now, of course, um, I can speak for the Norteño when I said uh, there was a lot of tattoos that weren't being administered or weren't being given based on, not because you weren't had earned them. Like I said, it's because you didn't want them to validate you. You know, the placas, well, as soon as you get in there, what do gang coordinators do? So I was going to take off your shirt. Let me take pictures of all your tattoos. So they can validate you as a known gang member. Once they validate you, your life take your life's going like this. Watch out. Sure. It takes a whole different turn, and now you're fucked. Okay, you're fucked. They use something as simple as a tattoo, something you can't scratch off that you put on your body to validate you. This is what administration does. And they know it. They're like, yeah. Oh, it's for sure. The Vato's going to have XIV on him. It's 100%. He wants everyone to know where he's from or a SK or a NK or whatever the case may be. But we started to turn it on Vato in the 90s. You know, the mid-90s, homeboys started implementing where we wouldn't get no derogatory statements on us. We weren't going to get no tattoos that symbolized where we we're from. You know, of course, Vato's had their little Welga birds or whatever. And if you could get it all blended in, man, where they didn't see it, it was all good in the hood. But at the end of the day, this is just what happened. This is just what went down, you know? And like I said, other group factions are doing their thing however they do it. Well, however they were dictated to do it. I can't speak on it. Um, I just know that I've seen a lot of Prison Inc. Beautiful work. But the work that'll blow the tattoo artists that are here on the Calles, out the awa. Straight out the ocean, homes. So, okay, what is that? That's a shark, right? There's a shark still biting his ass as he got blown out the water. I'm not playing, man. Vatos in there are very talented. They got a lot of time on their hands. So, what do they do? They perfect their craft. They perfect their craft. You know, I got to work right here. I got a fucking demon eat Monopoly money. All this. And I remember when I got it, um, I was in Jamestown. The homeboy hit me up. I remember he was paroling. We were in the gym. We were gym living. And um, I hit him up. I remember he came in the building. I was like, ooh, the homeboy gets down. I seen all his work. He was probably one of the best tattoo artists I ever seen in my life to that point. And I was like, bro, what's up? You got me? And he was like, bro, I parole tomorrow. You know what I mean? I'm gone. I was and I was like, damn, man, a dollar, hey, what does that call it? A day late and a dollar short, right? But I wasn't a dollar short. I had feria. I was just a day late. But I said, nah, man, I'm going to push it because I'm trying to get tattooed down because this about the, uh, when someone has that good of a, a hand, someone that good of work, you don't want to let them fucking go if you if you have a chance, right? I was like, so I maybe I should just, just bomb on them and keep them here, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? But what I said was, chip out, bro, you got any parole shoes? He was like, nah, to tell you the truth, I don't. I was going to parole in some states. I said, ah. There's my in. I said, hey, I got some brand new Air Force One. Some they're your size. He said, well, we're size 11 and a half. I said, they're nine, homes, but you can squeeze into them. Watch out. Look, hook me up, bro. He's like, you got any tattoo equipment? I said, I got it, right? Of course, I went and made a couple of deals, hustled. Little soap out here, little soap out there. I'll have one in here. I deodorant it there, right? Boom. And it was on and cracking. The Vato got down some of the best work I have on my body. Um... You can't let these guys go and just drive off when they're good tattoo artists. And you'll know who the good tattoo artists are on the yardas. Everyone talks about them. Hey, you'll see a lot of authors with the same style of work. Maybe not necessarily the same exact pieces. A lot do. You know, a lot have them same patterns on them. But you'll see that same style of work and you'll be like, oh, that was done by Wet or that was done by Chino. Oh, that shit. Oh, that's Puppet right there. Watch, I see it. That strings and shit. That's Puppet right off the top. Um. Little puppet or big puppet? Well, definitely not big puppet because if it was, it'd be a fucking vato with the chorizo going, Skagnelli! You know what I mean? You're the bitch. You know what I mean? Um, but it was some good work. You know, vatos get down. And I'm going to be real official right here. I've met good tattoo artists from everywhere. 
But quietly as it's kept without fucking bullshitting on just on some real shit, man. Them Southsiders are different, bro. Them Vato's tattooing skills are much different. I don't know if it was the homeboys from up north, man. We weren't really too worried about tattoos at that time. We were on some other shit, doing some other stuff. And I've met some homeboys that got immaculate hands, man. Don't get it twisted. They can get down. But the Southsiders were on a different level. Seemed like every other fucking cell can get down with good tattoo work. And I've met some of the best in the world. To this day, Vato's, I still get tattooed down by our Sureños, you know, or ex-Southsiders. Vato's just fucking got hands, bro. They just... Their tattoo game is way up to par. I don't know what it is. If it's something in the Awa over there in Los in San Diego and the Inland Empire, but it, they get down. That's just what it's going to be. Um, beautiful work, man. Like I said, a lot of cultura work. And that's what I'm into. Like I said, everyone likes different styles. Everyone likes different things. I like the cultura work. I like the low riding. I like... I just like my own stilo. That's what it is. Um, but I've seen some of the best work, you know. A lot of authors, too, that get a, a, a lot of the same tattoo work. Like, I've seen, like, Fresno Bulldogs take, for instance. They want to get dogs on their face, on their chin, on their lip. Oh, my. Right? Dog paws everywhere. All kinds of fucking dogs everywhere. And it's like, bro, all dogs go, how many dogs can you get? And they're like, bow, wow, wow. You they ain't tripping, man. Because they want people to know where they come from. This is their get down. I'm not going to say all the Bulldogs are doing this, man. I've met some Vatas from Fresno without a tattoo on their body. But for the most part, most of the dogs arms are going to get dog paws and, and dogs everywhere on them. It's just what it is. You know, I've seen it time and time again. Um, but Prison Inc., you know, and not necessarily just in the state of California. This is done worldwide. Vata, you know, I mean, you got Polynesians in prison, probably in New Zealand, you know, showing the simulation of their family tree. They got their tribe uh, artwork, you know, special things that have special meanings to them. I've seen a lot of, i seen a Vato have no work on him. And then, of course, he has a, a couple, a, a little portrait of his daughter, or maybe that passed away, rest in peace or something, you know. Um, something that means something to them. There's a lot of authors that know their body is their temple and that's their canvas, so they save it. And there's a lot of authors that are like me that says, fuck it, you hit it up. Hit it up, take money. You know what I mean? West Side, I just want to get tatted down. Not because I think it looks cool and I want to fucking play the part and look better than the next man, but because I like artwork. So I still got a few places on my body. Take money. You know what I mean? Get down. It is what it is. Hey, God damn, get down. Huh? Let's put the, put the quill in the ink in. Or the crucito. Um, you know what I mean? Hey, no more fantasizing, homes. This shit don't come off, is it? You know what I mean? Orale, put it in, eh? Does it snow in LA? Orale, watch out. So, um, at the end of the day, man, prison ink is just what it is. It's ink obtained in prison. Now, of course, people ask me all the time, well, how do you guys get all the stuff in there? You know what I mean? Because you're not seeing no professional guns, homes. You're not going to want to say, hey, look at watch out. Hey, shoot the, hey, hey, Pepe, shoot the liner. Shoot the liner. Hey, Casper, what? Shoot the shader. You know what I mean? Hey, you got a 64 mag? Nah, you're not seeing none of that. That's not what's going to happen. Hey, hey, watch out. Hey, can you make, can you trace this and uh, uh, Xerox it? You're not going to see none of that, homes. That's what's not going to happen in prison. Okay, in prison, you're going to get the scraggly old one needle, rigged up ass squat that they made. Some of the best work you'll ever see. Vatos are patient and they get down. They got number time. They got number time. Right? But they're going to get down. I've seen a lot of work just off the dome. Walters don't even need patterns. And then I've seen a lot of patterns. And you say, hey, Sasuke, what, hey, watch out. Hey, I didn't know how Walters working on them fools too. Look, look at that Sureno. You got the same one I got right here. Right here on his chin. That shit ain't cool. You know what I mean? Go tell him something, Charlie. Not, not today. My nana's another day. This is how it happens in prison. You see a lot of the guys with the same things because the same guy's doing all the work. You know, it might have a cold little different twist, but at the same time, I, hey, bro, why does he got my fucking eye on him? I can't call it. He said, hey, I told him he'd rip that up after we were done. Yeah, well, he did it. I know. Now there's like Sid Watto with my hind on their fucking thing. But watch, I got his hind on his lips right here. Bang, bang. You know what I mean? Filling themselves. Anyways, Prison Inc., man, like I said, I could sit here and give you a list on what you can and what you can't get but that's up to you for you to decipher with your own group organization because not everybody is the same and plus i'm not giving up game you know what i mean we ain't, i ain't here for that um at the end of the day people are saying how you get the tinta gun you don't get you i see the people get tinta man they make it out of fucking uh, baby oil chest pieces styrofoam so let's get pencil lead back in the days with a little shampoo you crush it up with your teeth so let's get put it like that and uh, that guy down, man. Any type of thing that you can get, don't use pin ink. That shit is not good. Your arm will fucking fall off. Anyways, it is what it is. At the end of the day, I hope that you move fast with a purpose. If you want to go get tattooed down, get tattooed down, man. I advise you don't wait to get into prison because you can catch things like hep C, 
um, tuberculosis, just a lot of bad things go on in there, man. You could only be so clean, you know. Barbasol only goes so far. Um, so if you want to get some good work, man, research it. Find someone else that can do some good work. And there's a lot of Chicanos out there and a lot of people in, uh, in general that could get down on some prison-like work. It's all good in the hood. Hope that you move fast with a purpose. Hope that you get everything that you want coming to you. Remember, at the end of the day, man, if you want to get tatted down, get tatted down, man. But do it for your familia because that's what counts at the end. You know, it's all about your familia. The gun. Bang, bang. I'm going to go get another tat. Fuck this shit.